Good morning again. I have since left the girl club event. I'll return on the 30th, as I mentioned in the last video. Okay. I decided since I was, uh, since I'm out, may as well, I had to pass by my favorite Goodwill place, and I haven't been here in months. It's been, I haven't been here since before Christmas, because remember, I went down and was in the hospital for a week, and then I had to recover for a month and a half, and I'm just now starting to get out again, but Value World, this is my number one spot. I'm introducing you to Value World. Okay, we're going to go in. And I'm going to show you what this store is all about. Give me a few minutes here. I got to get up to the door. And it's located right next to our local Harbor Freight. Our, our Harbor Freight is, is uh, astronomical in price. I don't like it because they want too much. But this is the store. They give you 50% off lots of times. I had Value World Connects at uh, one time. And they would let me know what was here and stuff okay today's pink tag day now this is how i shop value world i'm gonna show you oh they got some exercise stuff over there too and it's it's not as crowded as it usually is i always shop the counter first because they keep the designer and the expensive things back there oh wait a minute i see something i see something and let's see what the price is. I'm gonna have to call somebody back here. Bang! Look at there. Garden tool, and that is the perfect rake. I have a small one like that. Let's see. It's probably only a couple of dollars. There are some power tools and plugs, hammers. Okay. Comfort to set twin. I'm going to find out how much that rake is because uh, you can never have too many tools in the garden. Okay, so let me find a representative. I don't think that rake will go before I finish up. But as you can see, the counter, you know, they have jewelry and stuff like that. Okay, and... Sorry about the phone. I don't want to put people on camera. Here's some more bags. Sometimes you have to watch out for knockoffs, but a lot of them are real, like the Vera Bradley. You know that pink and green one? Boy, AKA would love that. I should get that for my sister-in-law. I haven't seen her in a while, but she would love something like that. Listen to me talking like I got some money. I got $20, y'all, okay? But $20 will go a long way in this store. But I like that AKA bag. I am gonna inquire about that. Okay, let's see. And then I like to shop back there too. So let me, I'm gonna walk back there real quick. Look at here. They, is this a snowblower? A Ryobi, so you have to have a battery for that. That's battery powered ironing board. My sister's been needing one of those. And then they have like your handicap stuff. That's where I found my bed step. I found that thing for $18. And it was when I looked online and the one I got was brand new. Online that thing brand new was uh how much was that thing? Three hundred and something dollars. Okay, a tray set. Nope, don't need these. Now y'all see why I have such a hoard in my house. Oh, fishing poles. Oh, these are short. I need I need longer fishing rods. But they are nice. Oh, they have a lot of irons. I have to tell my sister because she's been looking for a small iron. Weed whacker. I have one just like that, so don't need that. How you doing, lady? I don't even know how much is that right. On the other side, of course. <laughs> yeah. No. Then they have books. 
See the kid books and they have adult books and all kind of stuff. And I think their books are like only only uh, twenty five dollars. I mean twenty five cents. I'm sorry. Hey man, I'm thinking about inflation. They just might be twenty five dollars. Look at this. They don't have the whole uh, the story of immigration. This is nice. Now this, you know what? These little elementary. You know, I have a little great nephew now. He just turned one, and he loves books. So I just gave him a book about kids that are different with handicaps. That immigration book would work for him too. I want him to be well-rounded in acceptance of everyone. So that's, ooh, farm. That's good for little nugget. Oh, I got to get that for him. my little great nephew in the garden. Here we go. Baby touch and feel firm. Uh-oh, I'm losing it now. Yeah, I want my little nugget. That's what we call him. Foods with moods. First book of feelings. Okay, we can try that. If these are 25 cents, that's a dollar for these four books and they're all related to growing. Yeah, I want Little Nugget to be ready. Okay, I'm gonna get off in a minute, y'all. Yeah. I know I'm all over the place with this camera, but I'm very consonant of uh, putting people on film, but I don't want to cut off yet in case something spectacular happens. 5.15? Okay, thank you. Okay, bye-bye. I think I'm gonna get that when I check out. I ain't gonna carry it around the store, that's for sure. I don't think anyone will get it. And if they do, then they deserve it. That's the way I look at it. Okay. Then they have clothing. It's hot in here. God, why they cut the heat up so high? Burn up. Let's see what they got. Exercise ball. Nope, don't need that. Well, I need it, but <laughs> I don't need it in my house. So this is the men's section. But where I usually head is straight to the back. And that's why I stayed on, y'all, because this is my main shopping spot back here. Okay, so as you can see, you see a lot of junk playing around and whatnot. But then they got a little baby section. Don't fool with that. But this is the section I like. I look, well, they've got toys up back up in here now, but usually they have like household goods. Okay, here's some over here. What is this? Oh, this is nice and heavy. Made in Spain. Ooh, they want 15. Wait a minute. Let me see what the price is for Marshalls. $9.99. And Value World is asking $15.81. They have a policy here. If they price something higher than the tag that you see, you usually get it free. But I don't know if they still do that. That is a cute vase, but nope, too heavy for me. But this is the little section that I like to to uh, shop right here. This is where I usually find my mason jars. And sometimes I can find my vintage stuff, like this bowl set. Let's see how much this is. Probably 515, let's see. I'll turn it over, I don't trust this tape. Oh, they only want 383 for this bowl set. I think I'm gonna get that, y'all. And then here's two more. 99 cents, 99 cents for the bowls. Yeah, 90 cents actually. Okay, I'm gonna get that. So for $5, that's a lot of bowls there. I was just saying the other day, I had a lot of plastic bowls and I wanna start eating out of glass bowls. This is kind of cute, but what would I use it for? It's $1.81. What could I use this for? Hmm. I know what. 
if I'm frying something or whatever, I can use that to put, you know what, I'm coming up with excuses. But I like those little split bowls. Old Tupperware, y'all know you can never have too much old Tupperware. Let's see how this bowl looks. I don't like the yellowing of the top though, but you can get that clean. Let's see. Let's open this up and see what we got. Oh, you know what? Nope. It's a serving tray. I'm gonna pass on the Tupperware today. But usually I'll collect, like if that had been a straight bowl without the sections, I would have gotten it. What is this? No idea. These bowls are kind of cute. They're wooden. Those are plastic. Don't want to bring any more plastic bowls in the house. Now this jar right here, it says sip. That's another thing, you guys. If it has a top and these don't, how much they want for this? There's no price on it. Oh, yes, it is. A dollar is a dollar. Perfect vanilla bottle, but there's no top. And I know y'all screaming at me. You can find a cork. You can find it. Yeah, but you know what? I don't feel like carrying glass home. That's another good vanilla bottle. Let's see. Okay. Now, mason jars, that's another story. If I see a mason jar, top or no top, I'll get that. Especially the vintage ones, because y'all know them new ones aren't any good at all. Oh, this is a nice little roaster. Let's see how much it is. Or if it's rusted. Yep, it's rusted. And I know the rust can be cleaned off, but I have a, uh, that is me. Okay, that's me. When I see rust, I just don't want to deal with it, okay? Skillets. This is where I found my stob and and my uh, cast iron, my, my cast iron enamels. Nothing's in here today. Oh, wait a minute. Nope, nope. That's not cast iron enamel. Yeah, anything cast iron, I see. If it's not rusted, of course, I will get. And I'm not seeing anything. And that's how I hit the jackpot with those other cast irons. People just pass that mess over. And I grabbed it because I thought it was nice and heavy and it turned out to be something good. There's your flatware and utensils. So anything you see in that category, you can grab. I usually don't get the utensils from here unless it's something I need, like a serving spoon or something like that. A little apple core. That's not bad. So that would be either 30 cents or 80 cents. I know that. I think it would count as a utensil. But I have an apple core just like that. So I'm not going to get a second one. Then they have lids. Every now and then I'll grab a lid if I think it fits something that I have without one. Okay, then over here you have your stuff like this, bread makers and all that. And you have your crock pots and you have your uh, electronics. I already have a can opener that I bought here, brand new. And it's the old fashioned kind like that. I love it. Look at this little percolator. Radio to take fishing with me, but I'm not seeing. Oh, that little one over there is kind of cute, but I want something that's gonna sound good. Okay. Alrighty, so I'm done. How much is this bowl? I didn't even look. A dollar eighty-one. Okay. And I think I may have gone and get that. Uh, okay, I'm through, y'all. Y'all have been on a whole shopping trip with me. They have blankets and stuff. They sell crochet yarn here i didn't see any today pajamas all kind of stuff but anyway my uh, uh let's see i'm looking at these coolers they're up on the top shelf here okay but okay so now you've seen value world and this is a store 
you know, you come to and you just kind of go through it. And if you see something you need, you just grab it. So my little nephew, my little great nephew, I'm quite sure he will enjoy his little farm book <laughs> and then some bowls. So all together, that should come to about, I'm assuming $8. And if I get that rake, it's five fifteen. And I think I'm going to get that rake because I have a short one with the, the metal, but I don't have a long one. So I think I'm gonna get that. Okay, you guys, so I'm gonna get off of here and then I'm gonna head home. Well, I have to stop and get some butter, then I'm gonna head home. So you all have a nice day and may God bless you all. I'm through for the day, coming on. What is this? Okay, y'all. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.